Okay, can you hear me okay? So I think the sound should be good now. So um, so I was just, as I was just explaining everyone, uh, for you know those of you who are new to Hindi University, uh, check out um, our channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash Hindi University. And uh, you will get to hear all the older Hindi videos that we have, okay? Um, like always, I have segmented the class into four sections. Uh, in the first section, we'll talk about a particular topic called conjunctive particle, uh, which is a very famous one, which is kar. Okay, the way you write it in Hindi is kar. And uh, we'll spend about 20 minutes on this particular topic. Uh, we, we spoke about it in the past, but it's a new topic for us. Second topic, we'll discuss Hindi vocabulary. And, and in the third topic, you know, we'll talk about a story of a thirsty crow. So I read out the story, you know, by using this construct called Kerr. And in the fourth part, you know, fourth section, it's like your part where I ask everyone to kind of like, you know, uh, write some of the sentences using the concept that we are learning, and then you will share uh, those you know, sentences. So with that in mind, um, as always, feel free to ask any questions using the uh, using the Facebook Live as well as like, you know. Um, the Google Hangout that we have. So let's get going. Let me just make sure that there are no issues on the on the on the Facebook front. I think everything is good there. Thanks. Let's get going. Um, so there is some echo here. So just one minute, and I'm gonna echo here. Okay. So. Um, Just a quick note, if you can mute yourself, that will be really good. So that way at least we don't hear any background noise. OK. So let's start with an example of curve. So if you remember, um, we'll take some verb and we'll practice that. OK, so the basic verb that I have is dekna. As some of you remember, dekna is to to see, okay? And the way you write in Devanagari is the with a, kh, and na, okay? But what if you use this construct, this conjunctive particle with that? Any idea what the outcome of the word will be? Feel free to write it down. It will be, you'll take this half of the word and then you'll put kar. It would be dek kar. Dekh kar. Repeat after me, okay? Dekh kar. Uh, and it means after seeing. After seeing. Okay? As of now, don't jump ahead. You know, let's just focus on this construct. And we'll see how this is used in the, uh, in the examples. Okay? So I want you to just get used to uh, uh, using it in the world. And so we'll practice various verbs and we'll see what the meaning of the verb will be. Um, after adding this construct, okay. Um, similarly, um, khana. Khana is to eat. Is as a verb, it's eat. Khana means food as well. Okay, so khana plus kar. Khana plus kar would be any idea? It would be khakar. Khakar. And the way you write in Devanagari is kh with a, k and r. Khakar. Okay, repeat after me. And it means after eating. After eating. Okay, so let's say you want to say um, after eating pizza. Okay, any idea what the sent, uh, you know, your uh, sentence will be? Take a guess. After eating pizza. Very good, right? It will be pizza, khakar, or if you want to just say after eating food, okay? Food is also khana as a verb, right? So it will be khana, khakar. Okay, so think about simple scenarios like, you know, let's say a mom is telling a boy, when will you do your homework, right? Um, 
and uh, he doesn't want to say the long sentence in Hindi because he's new, right? So he can simply say "khana khakar." Okay, uh, we'll 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 work on the longer sentence as well. But as of now, think about like the short scenarios. Okay, um, when will you you know go and do grocery shopping? "Khana khakar." Right. I mean, so think about all those scenarios that you can use. Um, let's see more examples. So next word that I have is bolna. Bolna. Okay. You can work ahead with uh, ahead of me, right? So that's fine, right? So bolna is to speak or to say. To speak, okay. And when you add kar with it, it would be bolkar. Bolkar, okay. Which is after you know speaking. Okay. Sometimes the way you write the the entire sentence, it could also mean it could also mean while speaking. Okay. So just be aware of those scenarios as well. Okay. Bolkar, and the way you write it is ber with okay bolkar okay let's look at more and more examples so that way you know um, the concepts are pretty clear on this topic anyone um, let me do it the other way gunkar anyone which what's the verb here and what does it mean? Gunkar. So what's the base verb here? I'm doing the other way around. What is the verb here? And the meaning of uh, this construct called gunkar. Very good. Anyone else on um, Let's see if people have any comment on the Facebook side. Okay, so the verb here is gumna, and gumna is to travel. Okay, to travel, and when you say when you add kar in it, it becomes gumkar. Okay, um, and um, the meaning is after traveling. Okay, after traveling. Uh, let's keep going. So now I'll do some more interesting work where you know they you have to kind of use noun and add karna. Uh, so to type two words. Okay, so for example, bath, you know, you can think of it as like a gossip. Okay, where when you say bath karna, bath karna, okay. Bath karna is to, to, to gossip or to talk to someone, right? Um, and if, when you add kar in it, it would be baat karke. Kar kar, you can say. Sometimes you will see that the, you know, uh, sometimes you will see that informally, you know, or less formally, you will see people add k also. Okay, so you will see baat karke. Bath karke after talking or after speaking with someone, right? So that's type two of that. Okay, right? So bath karke or bath kar kar. Okay, um, another type two work that I have for this class is. Uh, Anything that the way you add, you know, uh, uh, you know, karna or you know, dena, you know. Uh, let's do, let's see this one. Khana, banana. Anyone remembers what does, uh, what's the meaning of this word, banana? So it's like khana, banana. I'm going to take a pause to see if you can. Very good, right? Khana banana is to to make food. Right? 
banana is to make in general whenever you have banana it's it's not the the fruit banana it's in hindi is to make right so a uh, uh, ghar banana is to construct a house um pizza banana is to make a pizza uh, similarly anything like you know apple pie banana to make an apple pie right so um, same thing when you add kar after that it could be khana bana kar okay khana bana kar same thing now the kid is asking mom uh, mom when will you help me on in my homework and the mom replies khana bana kar that after making the food i'll help you okay so after making the food or pizza or apple pie anything okay after making the food um so the reason of giving you a lot of example is you know to just to open up the possibility that you know all the verbs that you have learned so far you know you can you know little use the same verbs and then come up with so many more like you know hindi sentences right without doing any significant effort right? it's so all you need to know is this conjunctive particle call uh, kar okay now um, i added some quiz will jump to the upcoming session but just to kind of like you know do the final a uh, layer here i had it uh, some more quizzes here so you have to tell me what's the base verb here and what does it mean okay so first one is lekar okay lekar and the second one is okay soch kar for those of you who are not familiar with devnagari that's completely fine don't worry about it right um just focus on the roman nagari okay so two things right one is the base verb and what is the meaning of lekar base verb for soch kar and what's the meaning of soch kar and folks on you know facebook definitely try i'm looking at the answers as well so i'll review those okay so the first one the base word of lekar you can say that you know you are adding kar so the other way would be to replace kar with na to find out the base word lena lena is to take okay to take for example main coffee leta hu i take coffee or main taxi leta hu i take a, a cab or a taxi okay or main uber leta hu nowadays and so i take a an uber right lena okay so and lekar is like you know after taking uh, you know so i can say main uber lekar uh, metro station jata hu that i after taking the uber or the taxi i go to the metro station okay Uh, we'll go to the example soch kar soch kar you can replace kar with na right so that would be sochna and sochna is to to think to think okay um and soch kar is after thinking after thinking okay so imagine the case right i mean uh Liz is asking Anya's like, will you, will you go with me on this concert, some concert like you know Nutcracker, let's say, right? And Anya is saying, "Hmm, मैं सोच कर बताती हूँ, okay? मैं सोच कर बताती हूँ, बताना is to tell, okay? So she's saying that मैं सोच कर बताती हूँ." Matana is to tell. So she just took the verb "sochna." She added "kar" in it, right? That let me think, and then I'll tell you. Okay. So basically, first this is happening. The first thinking is happening, and then this telling. Okay. Uh, so that's the meaning behind, you know. Uh, that's the use of you know uh, this conjunctive particle in a in a sentence. Okay. Any questions so far? I want to make sure. uh you know this is clear so give me thumbs up if you, this is clear if there are more questions we can cover those as well
before we jump to the, the next part. Okay. All right. So the next part is using it in the sentence. Using kar in sentence. So what I did was I just wrote one base sentence, okay, and I just want you to try, keep on trying different, you know, verbs here, using kar. Okay. So first, let's start with a very basic sentence. You know, I will go to the gym. Okay. Um, to go is I will go to the gym. So to go is jana. Okay, it's a future indefinite tense. So why don't we start with that? Uh, write down the Hindi uh, sentence for it, and then um, we'll make it complicated. So let's start with that. Okay, so let's start with that. Uh, for those of you, let me see if people have written. Uh, very good, right? So, so it will be I is man. That's the pronoun, right? Man. And you're saying man, gym. So I'm leaving a space here. Okay, man, gym. Um, to go is jana. But in future indefinite, with especially uh, this pronoun, it would be man, Jim, Ja, Ungi for a female, and Ja Unga for a male. So this is for a female singular and this is for a masculine singular. So you just replace Na with Unga and Ungi. Okay. Man, Jim, Ja Ungi for a girl, and man, Jim, Ja Unga for a guy. Okay, simple sentence. Now you want to, you know, use the flavor of conjunctive particle in it. How do you do that, right? So now you want to say, um, think of it as a quiz as well. Now you want to say that after eating food, I will go to the gym. Okay, tell me what the, the final Hindi sentence will be. That after having food or eating food, uh, may, that, you know, I will go to the gym. Very good. Anyone else? Okay. More people. Okay. Right. So what you did was you take you you after eating food, right? So you said khana is to to eat. Okay. So what you've done is like you, you put kar in it because this action is happening first. So you're saying kha kar. Okay. So you're saying main khana, main khana kha kar jim jaungi. Okay. Or you can say main khana bana kar jim jaungi. That after making food, I will go to the gym. Okay. Good job. Yeah. So let's, let's jump on the next sentence. The next one is. Um, I'll take a bath and then I'll go to the gym after taking shower. And we have done this verb to take bath. Okay, after taking shower. So let me remove this one. So now the question is like, how do you say uh, after taking shower, I will go to the gym? Okay, um, I can give you a hint here. The hint here is to take shower is uh, the verb is nahana. Okay, so the verb is nahana. You can take that word and then make a sentence. Okay, to take shower is very good. Okay. Um, so the verb is nahana. Okay, so that's very, very interesting use of 
um, you know, so let me first write it down and then, okay. So the sentence here is man, man, you're just putting here Nahakar. Main nahakar gym jaungi. That's a sentence. After taking shower, I'll go to the gym. Okay, very good. Um, you know, Sandhya mentioned, Main gym jaakar nahati hun. Pretty interesting use of it, right? So that means like, you know, after going to the gym, I take a shower. right? So main nahati hun, uh, I take shower, but after going to the gym. Okay. Um, one important thing is like, you know, I'm, I'm using future indefinite tense here. Um, but this construct can be used in any tense. Okay. Uh, so be aware of that. Let's take more and more examples to the same uh, example, right? And so, main Jim Jongi, let's say. Um, similarly, if you want to say, Khelkar. Okay. Main Khelkar Jim Jongi. Um, any idea what the sentence will be here? What's uh, what does it mean? My Khelkar or football Khelkar, my football Khelkar gym Jongi. Very good, right? Uh, I'll go to the gym after playing the football. Okay, um, so I want to keep on increasing here so that way you know. Similarly, let's use type to work here. Okay. So it would be main grocery karke. Main grocery karke or main grocery karkar gym jongi. That I'll do the grocery and then I'll go to the gym after that. Um, you can say main movie dekkar. Main movie dekkar gym jongi. Okay. Or jaunga. So, um, as I'm writing more and ex more examples, uh, it's an opportunity to prepare for section number four, part four, where you know your part, right? Where you have to say some sentences. So you can just use this template and come up with many more sentences. Okay. Um, I wrote some more words, so I want to kind of write those as well, so that way you know it's clear to you. So you can say, "My movie dekkar Jim jaungi or "My My Hindi padkar." Okay. I Hindi Parker Khana Khaungi or Jim Jongi, right? Um, more examples that I have is my office say office say Akar. So this one is interesting because you know uh, any idea you what you're saying, my office say Akar Jim Jongi. Write it down. Okay, so Anna Anna is to come. Okay, and then you're using a post position. Office saying Anna, uh, returning from work. Okay, um, so that so basically you're saying after returning from the work, I'll go to the um, to the gym. Right, my office they occur. Uh, you can also say my apko apko drop karke. So let's say a friend, you know, came to your house to, to have a tea or something. And then, you know, he's asking you, what's your plan? And you are telling him or her, Main aapko aur tumko drop karke. basically I just use the English word, but the idea here is like, I'll drop you at the metro station and I'll go to the gym. Right? Aapko. And again, I wrote it particularly because uh, it's, you're using a, a pronoun, you're using a post position and you're using a verb. So that's why I wrote it down. To kind of give you the you know the the possibilities, okay. Um, you know you can also say that I'll clean the house and uh, you know and I'll go to the gym. Any idea what that I'll clean the house uh, after cleaning the apartment? I'll go to the gym. Let's see if some of you can figure it out. Okay, very good. Right, that's right. So basically, uh, to to clean is saaf karna or safai karna, right? So you're saying me safai safai karke 
मैं सफाई करके और सफाई कर कर जिम जाऊंगी और जिम जाऊंगा ओके सो आई फील कंफर्टेबल लाइक लुकिंग एट द रिस्पॉन्स आई फील कंफर्टेबल आई थिंक यू नो आई थिंक यू यू ऑल ऑफ यू हैव काइंड ऑफ लाइक यू नो गॉट ऑन द ग्रास ऑफ इट सो वी कैन जम्प टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नाउ so this story will be a little bit uh, difficult one you know i just want to kind of let you know in advance so pay very close attention because you know we we definitely have many usage of this construct curve uh, but as i'm writing you know the vocabulary section also you know just remember those vocabulary part so we we'll start with the second section called hindi vocabulary which is relevant with our story okay um so first one i have is crow okay so i'll give you guys the opportunity as well if some of you already know about it the hindi word for crow write it down there are about 10 vocabulary words that i have um in this section okay uh, second one is piece of grain you can say grain also okay third one is thirst fourth one is jar or you can say pitcher or you can say pot fourth one and the fifth one i have is it's nearby okay so i have ten you know vocabulary words but why don't we just go sequentially um if you already know any of those feel free to write it down um, otherwise i'll cover it so i think on the facebook also i got a good participation uh, kartik said mai safai karke uh, gym jaungi very good and same thing for the good so we have very good participation on facebook all right so let's start with the next section which is the vocabulary a uh, crow in hindi is i think some of you got it right so so this one is koa crow is you know this is u and v and a and the way you write it is k with o and then a koa I mean, I don't commonly see it. At least in the United States, I don't really, I don't commonly see. It, although there are, you know, crows here as well. But India, you know, you can see pretty much everywhere, right? Kowa, um, kowa. Okay. Piece of grain is dana. Dana. And dana is like a, you know, a commonly used word. Like if you have a piece of something, like you know, uh, you know. that's that's you use, that's when you use it dana and thirst you know um it's pyaas half pa ya and then sir pyaas okay thirsty is pyaasa so there is another a uh, at the end of pyaas okay uh, this one jar or pitcher or pot is matka matka so you have ma ta and then ka with a matka okay and then as you rightly pointed out nearby is aas paas okay aas paas okay so just remember these um i'll I'll do more crow is kawa m you know um that's one koa okay plural is koe a okay um but when you see any post position after that the oblique case of koa is koe okay so just remember that piece of grain dana okay plural is dane thirst is pyas okay thirsty is pyasa okay jar pitcher or pot is matka okay repeat after me matka and the plural of matka which is multiple parts so jar matke a okay matke uh nearby is aas paas um people also use paas paas mein 
that's also correct okay so let's do some more words just remember these words uh, ver uh, vocabulary words because you will see them in our story shortly okay so let's do some more beak and when i say beak it's like you know a beak of a you know a, a bird or a, in this case a crow beak next one i have stones or pebble or small rocks basically okay so these two and then i have some verbs here which is to bend um to bend and then to to reach and to quench a little difficult but stay with me and you will know it uh, so first one is beak second one is stone or pebble or rock third one is to bend that you know uh, i'm bending or something like that right and then to reach and to quench very good right so uh, beak is george as you know sandhya rightly mentioned uh, it's basically george so there is a nasalized n here okay george and the way you write it is like you have a ch with o ch and then the nasalized n no george okay stone pebble or rock is patthar patthar okay patthar and it's basically pa ha ta and tha and ra actually this is patthar okay patthar a uh, to bend is jukna okay jukna and the way you write it is like you know you have j with u sorry this other other u jukna k and then na jukna okay to reach is pahunchna pahunchna so you have pa ha with u ch with na pahunchna okay pahunchna and the last one is uh, to quench is like for example to quench your thirst uh, is bujhana so bu jana so you have a ba with u j with a and then na with a okay i know it's a little bit too much to grasp but you know just take one step at a time first one as i men mentioned um beak is george okay so when i say crow's beak a uh, kowe ki george remember is an apostrophe crow's beak uh, so so when you say mera purse mera laptop there is a implicit ka in there post position for beak it's a masculine so that's why kowe ki george stone pebble or rock is patthar uh, plural would be bahut se patthar okay to bend is jukna so when you say main jukta hu i bend okay to reach pahunchna okay main um, paris pahunchta hu okay i'll you know i reach to paris okay or i will reach paris main paris pahunchunga okay to quench bujhana okay uh, i quench my thirst main apni pyaas bujhata hu okay main pani peeta hu aur apni pyaas bujhata hu so it's it's a little bit you know a lot of you know words to remember um but don't worry you will see all the 10 you know uh, there are about seven vocabulary words and three verbs you will see all of them in the the story okay um so it will be interesting one i mean i you know i had fun writing it i hope you will enjoy it uh, while doing the exercise <laughs> so ready Let's hear from people if on the Facebook if they're ready, and then we'll get to the 
okay quench i think i covered it you know there was a question on what is the what does it mean quench okay all right so let's jump to the story part okay so this is the story of a thirsty crow thirsty crow okay so just bear with me um, i'll write it down slowly and then as i'm writing the as i'm writing the story i encourage each of you uh, to try to make make sense of each line and the story in totality okay um so here we go ek kawa ek kawa dana lekar ud raha tha so i used uh, it in past tense okay remember ek kawa dana lekar ud raha tha okay next one usko usko dana usko dana khakar pyas lagi stay with me okay usko meaning crow ko usko dana khakar pyas lagi okay kauve कौवे ने एक मटका देखा ओके पास इंडेफिनेट इज यूज ऑफ ने ओके कौवे ने एक मटका देखा ओके मटके नेक्स्ट वन इज मटके मटके में पानी था मटके में पानी था ओके कौवे ने नेक्स्ट वन कौवे ने झुक कर वन वर्ड ओके झुक कर पानी पीना चाहा कौवे ने झुक कर पानी पीना चाहा ओके लेकिन लेकिन कौवे चौच पानी तक पानी तक नहीं पहुंची ओके कौवे ने झुककर पानी पीना चाहा लेकिन कौवे की चौच पानी तक नहीं पहुंची ओके okay. कौवे ने कौवे ने सोचकर सोचकर आसपास देखा ओके okay. कौवे ने सोचकर आसपास देखा वहां कुछ पत्थर थे 
वहां कुछ पत्थर थे ओके okay? कौवे ने सो माई अपॉलोजी हम द वर्ड विल बी स्मॉल बट आई रिपीट इट सो यू कैन लिसन टू मी कौवे ने पत्थर चौंच में लेकर कौवे ने पत्थर चौंच में लेकर मटके में डाले मटके में मटके में डाले तो डालना इज टू पुट और टू यू नो टू प्लेस ओके और टू टू थ्रो आल्सो ओके द लास्ट लाइन ओके पानी अगेन चौच में लेकर ओके एंड देन पानी ऊपर आया और कौवे ने प्यास बुझाई बुझाई दैट्स इट सिंपल राइट आई आई नो इट्स नॉट सिंपल ओके सो आई गो वन बाय वन आई रीड इट वेरी स्लोली ओके एंड द वे आई रीड इट आई मेक श्योर दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू कैन मेक सेंस ऑफ इट ओके एंड देन as i'm reading it i want you to follow along and i want you to 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 recite the story with me first slowly and then as a you know fast okay and then you will get a practice of hindi reading as well okay so read, please do that please do the exercise and like say with me okay ek kauwa dana lekar ud raha tha usko dana khakar प्यास लगी कौवे ने एक मटका देखा मटके में पानी था कौवे ने झुक कर पानी पीना चाहा, लेकिन कौवे की चौच पानी तक नहीं पहुंची कौवे ने सोचकर आसपास देखा वहा कुछ पत्थर थे कौवे ने पत्थर चौच में लेकर मटके में डाले पानी ऊपर आया और कौवे ने प्यास बुझाई ओके नाउ आई रीड इट not very fast but uh, as fast as a you know a normal or like a regular native speaker will you know will say without putting too much of like you know pace in it okay um so i'll read it just like that and you try to follow along um ek kauwa dana lekar ud raha tha usko dana kha kar pyaas lagi kauwe ne ek matka dekha matke mein pani tha कौवे ने झुककर पानी पीना चाहा, लेकिन कौवे की चौच पानी तक नहीं पहुंची कौवे ने सोचकर आसपास देखा वहां कुछ पत्थर थे कौवे ने पत्थर चौच में लेकर मटके में डाले पानी ऊपर आया और कौवे ने अपनी प्यास बुझाई ओके आई नो इट माइट स्टिल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर सम फोक्स बट दैट्स द होल पॉइंट ऑफ आर आर लेसन टू टेक अ कॉम्प्लेक्स टास्क ब्रेक इट डाउन इन टू पीसेस and then you know conquer it that way um, so we'll start with uh, you know um adam so i'll mute one of you each of you one by one so you can attempt it and tell me you know read it first and then tell me the the meaning of it ek tha dana ho raha tha uh the crow picked up a piece of grain is okay. that right? 
Um, Udna to like, get up or to rise, I think, or? To fly. To fly, oh, sorry, okay. Uh, the crow, after, wait, I don't know, like, after taking the piece of grain, was, or was flying while pick, after picking up the piece of grain. That's true, yeah, that's right. Okay. Next one. Is it me again? Yeah. Oh, Usko Dana Kakar Pias Lagi. The the piece of after eating the piece of grain, the crow was thirsty. Very good. The crow got thirsty. Pretty good. Thank you so much, Adam. Um, now we'll jump to um, Liz. You want to go next? Let me unmute you. Liz, you want to go next? You can unmute. If not, you can skip. What are you comfortable with? You have to unmute yourself. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry. No worries. I clicked, I clicked it twice. Kavane ek matka dekna. Deka. Deka. The crow saw the pot. Very good. Crow saw a pot. Ek is one, right? So kove ne ek matka dekha. So we have too many people. So um, I'll jump to the next person. And if somebody doesn't participate, we'll come back to you, Liz. OK? Sure. Thank you. Uh, Anyas, you want to give it a try? Next one. Hello. Yeah, right. Mat kya hai? Mat. Okay. Matka is a pot or a pitcher. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. matke. Ah, matke. Ah, because I, I, I thought it was two, two words. Okay. Um, is uh, the the pot has water? Very good. The pot had some water. Matke me pani tha. The pot had some water. Okay. Um, let's see. The next Sunday you want to go next. Let me see, you are unmuted. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, uh, the crow saw the pot. The crow after after bend it, mm -hmm. the crow wanted to drink water. Okay. Yeah, the crow wanted to drink water. So, you know, after bending, so he tried to bend and then tried to drink the water. Pretty good. You want to do the next also? Uh, may, I, may I as well? Yeah. Okay. But uh, his, uh, how do we say? Beak. His beak uh, didn't reach the water. Okay, pretty good. His beak couldn't reach the, the water, right? Pauchi to reach. Okay. Um, let's see. I think some of you, the microphone is the issue. Uh, so th that's, that's not a problem. Monica, if you want to go for it, that's completely fine. But you know, I'm not sure if you have the microphone. I can unmute you to give you the opportunity if you want to, to speak. And if you want to skip, that's fine too. Try it, read it, and tell us the meaning of it. OK, no worries. Um, Anyas, you want to go and do this one? Let me see. Okay. Um, Kovene Sochkar Aspas Deka. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. After thinking, Kove, 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 Kove. After, uh, wait. Yeah. After uh, Aspas Deka. Mm -hmm. So he so. Hmm. Dekna is to? To see. Okay, Aspas is? Uh, nearby. So okay. he's. He looked around basically, right? Okay. So after, after thinking, he looked around. Pretty good. Okay. I think we're almost there. I think after, Aspas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. So after thinking, the crew uh, looked looked around. Yeah, you want to do next also? Vahon kuch patarte. 
Um, so uh, uh, there, there was a stone. There was a stone there. there. There were some pebbles nearby. There were some pebbles or stones. Okay. Okay. Alicia, you are new to the class. Uh, I'm not sure if you have the the microphone, but if you want to give it a try, uh, feel free. Let me unmute you. And no pressure if you don't want to. <laughs> You want to read it? Go for it. Okay, no worries. Uh, Liz, you want to do next? Let me make sure. What's that? Kavane, Peter Konch, Milakar. Matke me dali. Yeah, but if we read it one more time. Kovani Petar Konch me lekar Meke me dar. So this is Chonch, okay? Uh Chonch. Oh Chonch. Yeah. Chonch. Yeah. Okay, what is that? Chonch. Chonch. Okay. Um the the crow took the took the stone in his beak mm -hmm. after after taking the grain. No, 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 no. Read it one more time. Kove ne patch me lake. Matke me dale. Matka is pitcher. And dalna is to put or to, in, you know. Uh, uh, put. Yeah, to put. Read it one more time. Uh, he took the stone in his beak. Mm -hmm. after, after giving or putting the grain that the stone in the in the pot. No, let's read it one more. No, no. <laughs> so this action is happening first. Chonch me leka, matke me dale. Let's read this one. Matke me dale. What does it mean? The the grain matke. in the pot. No, no, no. So this is not dana. This is dalna verb. Okay. Matka is a pot. Uh, uh -huh. Remember when you said matke me pani tha, there was water in the uh, in the pot. Okay, matke me dalna. For example, so in this case, like you know, uh, putting it in the uh, you know in the in the pitcher or jar or pot. Okay, so this action is happening first. That you know, kove ne patthar chauch me meliye, kove ne patthar matke me dale. So we just concatenated both the sentences. First one is kove ne patthar chauch me liye. That he picked up some stones in his beak. Next one is Kauvene Patha Matke me Dale. That he put some stones or pebbles in the in the pitch. Uh -huh. In the pot. That's yeah. right. Concatenate both of them. So you, you can join both of them and tell me again <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> so so the, the crow took the took the stone in his beak. And, and then put it in the pot. Perfect. Very good. Right. So this was the most this sentence, and then the this one chaha. Those were the two most complicated in my mind. So pretty good. Uh, <laughs> next one, um, Arnes, you want to do it? Last one. Pani upper aya or kove ne pias. Uh, Buchai. Mm -hmm. I know. Right, it's also very difficult. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see how I do that. This pani one. upper aya after. No, no, there's no car here. So pani upper aya. Paner upper aya. Mm -hmm. uh, Ike, uh, you reached the, the water? No, how do you say that? Pani upper aya is. Anna is to, to, to come. Okay. Upper is? Up. Uh, up uh, so, Pani, Upper, Aya. So, the uh, the water came uh, up. Very good. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Water came up. And? And the the, the crow uh, felt, uh, how do you say in English? Quenched. Felt uh, quenched. Yeah. Because I'm learning English at the same time oh, because wow. I didn't know quenched. <laughs> <laughs> Kovene okay. Das Bujai. 
So the the crow uh, felt uh, quenched, no? no? Pyas is thirst, Bujana is to quench. Ah, so uh, his thirst was the, quenched? No, other way around. He How quenched that? thirst. Tell me? The other way around. He quenched his thirst, right? Go okay, away. okay. Right? <laughs> he, quenched, he quenched his thirst. Very good. How will you say that in French? Il se désaltera. Okay, I see. I don't understand it. I didn't know because now I have I have Hindi dictionary and English dictionary because of you because I didn't know three words today. Pro, big, and quench. So I learned English too. Well, now I learned from each other. So overall, I, I'm hoping most of you, I mean all of you, of the story, right? I mean it's a thirsty crow. Very popular story, um, but I pretty much, if you look at the story, I, I, you know, put in this conjunctive particle everywhere in the story. Laker after taking, khakar after eating, jukkar after bending, sochkar after thinking, and again laker after taking. Okay, or so I hope you found the story useful. Uh, let me see if there are any questions on on the Facebook front. Okay. All right. So, uh, folks who are watching live on Facebook, thank you so much uh, for participating. Uh, we'll see you next week again. So, let me first finish that and then I can open it up for. All right. So, uh, now the fourth section, which is pretty much, you know, uh, you know, uh, your part, basically, all of you will like kind of like, either provide your feedback. Or you know share some something using this you know uh, this concept. So we are right on ten ten o'clock. So we have limited time. So we'll go pretty quickly. Uh, Adam, you can go first, and then you know. Me sochkar, me by me biking. I, how do you say it, like to bike? I like to bike. Yeah. To, after thinking, I will bike. May uh, so, so whenever you want able to come up with the verb, just use the noun and put karna. Okay. Bike biking kar, karunga. Very good. Main kar biking karunga. That's right. <laughs> how was the story? Was it too difficult, or was it easy to follow, or too easy? With um with the vocabulary, I was able to get the main meaning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Was it challenging though for you? It was more challenging. I didn't know what Uraha was, and okay. I didn't know what Dali was. Okay. Uraha, you knew, right? I mean, I'm assuming Uraha is to fly, right? I urta hum or aeroplane urta hai. Um, Uraha sounds right. Yeah, Uraha. Okay. <laughs> so it's the same word, Udna, but you're using it in past continuous, Udrahata. It was flying. Was flying. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, thank you so much, Adam. Uh, you know, Liz, you want to go next? You have to unmute yourself. Yep. Okay. Okay, I really like the story. It was a little bit challenging, just new words and new things, but that's what it should be, is a little challenging to keep us learning. Yeah. Yes, very good. Thank you. You want to say some like sentences, or you, you can write it down as well and send it to me. You know, that's completely fine. Whatever you prefer. Uh, uh, let me think about it and write it down. Okay, so write this entire sentence, think, and I'll, I'll send it to you. So you can just literally translate. Good, good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we'll go to Sandhya. Yeah. Okay, so do I, I tell a sentence with this? Yeah. Um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud Okay, that's right. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> How was the story for you? Was it more difficult? Uh, it was good. It's good actually, uh, mainly for the vocabulary. 
because I already okay. know it. Okay, thank you. So uh, one comment from Monica is, मेरे लिए कहानी आसान थी लेकिन ये अंग्रेजी शब्द मुझे नहीं पता ओके द स्टोरी वॉज यू नो इजी वॉर्क फॉर मी बट द इंग्लिश वर्ड वर कैंड ऑफ लाइक दी शी इज फ्रॉम पोलैंड सो दैट्स कम्प्लीटली फाइन आई मीन थैंक यू सो मच मोनिका फॉर ज्वाइनिंग सो विल जम्प टू अनियस यून गो नेक्स्ट यस मैं अंडा मिलाकर केक बनाऊंगी ओके वाओ मैं अंडा मिलाकर केक बनाऊंगी देयर आई विल मिक्स एग एंड देन आई विल मेक आई विल मिक्स यू नो एग एंड देन आई विल यू नो मेक प्रिपेयर द केक या आर वी इनवाइटेड एज़ वेल और जस्ट वी विल हैव इट विद योर फैमिली आई डोंट नो आई वाज थिंक ऑफ कोर्स यू आर वेलकम एंड फॉर मी दिस द स्टोरी वाज लिटिल चैलेंजिंग मोर देन द अदर वन वन बिकॉज़ द the vocabulary was very new for me yeah. even in english <laughs> so that was the difficulty i mean so when i wrote it it was but it's good it's good yeah even when i wrote it i knew it's going to be challenging it's not going yeah to... yeah yeah no but it's okay we are here to to learn so it's uh, always nice <laughs> so mm-hmm. read it one more time and i think this time you know it will appear simpler because now that you know you know uh, now that you know it going through it will be much easier Yeah. May may I have a little question? Go for it. Um just for uh, I I I didn't understand the example for cleaning safkarna. Mm-hmm. Why you said a uh, mess safai karke? Mm-hmm. So safai karna or saf karna same thing. Safai karna. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, both of you them. Mean, are... You mean that saf and safai are the same word? Yeah, same similar. Okay, okay. They, they are basically okay. synonyms. Okay. So, you know, you can use either of them. Okay, so So I understand so. Okay. Aditya, yeah, I think there is some microphone issues here, but you can try one more time if we can hear you. Where are you joining from? You can type it maybe. Are you here in the United States? Where are you dial, uh, you know joining? Okay. if not uh, thanks for you know uh, joining and you know the hindi university uh, thanks again all of you have a good rest of the sunday we'll meet again next sunday is what christmas right so we may not meet next sunday i'll, I'll confirm okay but in case if i don't see you happy holidays and uh, you know uh, i hope you all have you know good rest of the sunday and the holiday season thanks everyone Thank you Ashuji. Thanks. <laughs> And Mer- Merry Christmas in advance because I yeah, won't be there. Yeah. <laughs> right. After it- Thank you. Bye bye. Right. After it's New Year also. Yeah, I know. So I'll I'll confirm you know on the Facebook for. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.